Ever wanted to learn how to make your own custom emotes for Twitch? Well, in this tutorial, we'll do just that in Adobe Photoshop. Before we get started, if you're looking for professional graphics, check out Placeit, an awesome online tool where you can experiment with mockups, designs, and logos in a flash right in your browser. You can even find Twitch overlay templates, Twitch emotes, video intros, and more. Check out the description for more info. Now, let's dig into Photoshop. First thing we're going to do is build an emote from a photograph, like this one. Our goal here is to isolate parts of our subject, and there's many different ways you could do this. For example, we can select the magic wand tool, and then we can click on the Select Subject button. Then we can turn to our Layers panel and click Add Mask. This isn't necessarily perfect, but it does get you started with a basic mask of your subject. We can also use the Pen tool to isolate parts of our subject. For example, let's zoom in on the face. Make sure your pen tool is set to paths, and then let's outline the subject's face, paying special attention to the chin. With this area selected, we can turn to our Paths panel and select Load Path as a selection. We could put all of our work into a folder, and then, with the folder selected, add a mask. Note that you can edit these masks, too. So, for example, I could come in here with the paintbrush tool and paint white to add to my mask, and black to take away from it. The key here is to select the mask, and not the layer thumbnail, when you want to edit it. Here's an example of two isolated parts of the subject, the face and the hands, using these techniques. Now let's create the actual Twitch emote. We'll work in a document that's 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Let's also make sure we have a transparent background selected. Going back to our previous document, we need to select, copy, and paste this content into our new document. Now with our content here in our new document, let's use the Move tool to position and resize our content. I have Show Transform controls toggled on, which lets me quickly free transform my subjects. Now there's no wrong answer here, so position and scale your work any way you prefer. Once you're happy with how things look, let's group our content together in a folder. Click on this folder icon to create one, and then we can drag our layers into it. Then I can easily apply a drop shadow to the whole thing by selecting the group. Let's give that a shot down here from our layer styles. I'll just select Drop Shadow. Here's some sample settings you can try for your drop shadow. Blend Mode, Multiply. Opacity, 38%. Angle, 90 degrees. Distance, 6 pixels. Spread, 0%. And Size, 4 pixels. Click OK once you're happy with your selected options. And there you have it. We've made a custom Twitch emote. We could then flatten this image and save it as a transparent file type, like PNG. You don't necessarily have to use photos either. For example, we could use an image or drawing, like this one. The process is largely the same. You want to make sure to isolate your image, like this. And then get it into a square document, like our 500 by 500 pixel one from earlier. Your remote needs to have a transparent background. These techniques apply whether you're working with a photo or a drawing. Want to draw your own Twitch emotes from scratch? Take a look at the written version of this tutorial for an awesome visual walkthrough that takes you through some cute character art. Check out the description for more info. You might also want to take a look at an online tool called Placeit. It's a browser-based design tool, meaning you don't even need software to jump in and customize content. For example, check out this cute character. I can customize them, and then download my customized creation. This content is licensed for commercial use, too. So what about when you're all ready to go? Well, Twitch emotes do have some specific size requirements, depending on what you choose. Three sizes, 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 by 112 are recommended. And that's why working larger than this is a good idea. With raster artwork, you can scale down. Remember to check Twitch's official guides for any updates or changes on these requirements. Need to resize your emotes in Photoshop? That's easy. Let's go to File, Export, Export As. 
Now we can choose the options we need, like PNG, Transparency On, and our dimensions. Let's go with 112 by 112, one of the recommended sizes for uploading on Twitch. Then all we have to do is click Export. Remember, to upload your emotes on Twitch, you need to be an affiliate or a partner, and you can do so from your channel dashboard. So what kind of Twitch emotes would you make? If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can also click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching.